Good day, hi and welcome. Okay, here are the caps. You can see I messed them up pretty good. They deserved it. Uh, wheel nuts don't look too bad. I kind of manga mangled this one. This one, I'm going to have to replace that. Replace this one. I want to replace them all, but that one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's, yeah. Uh, but this one is definitely that, you know, that's an old one. That's an old one too, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put all new wheel nuts on here if I can. But the good news, I saved the stud. The rim's not too bad. I got away with it, hammering on it with the chisel, just like kind of like to break the cap. I basically chisel like there, there, break the rim, and then go like that, then flatten it out with some of the other chisels. Again, thanks to Bonnie for that one. Again, I only met this woman once in her life, and she's like my lifesaver here. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I kind of went a little bit deep into that one. But that's okay. I'll kind of grind that down a bit, and I'll get that off somehow. I am going to let these soak for, like, I'm not getting it done today. That That's the thing. Uh, but I'm going to let these soak, put some anti-seize on there, some uh, honey goo. That stuff works really good. Uh, for penetrating oil anything any sort of really good penetrating oil what should do let them sit for a little while and then see if i get the right socket size which i think these are an 18 don't quote me on that these are this is an 04 dodge uh 7.5 liter ram 1500 magnum um slt model uh but uh yeah so i'm gonna see if i can get new wheel nuts hopefully the studs ain't too bad because i don't want to get into all that because i mean to replace them all is probably about 150 bucks which is not a big deal but it's just like if I can just get through the season with this, I'll deal with it in the spring when I have all summer to work on it. Uh, but I got to get the, I mean, we're in, leaves are changing, you know what I mean? Uh, we're in September, but September turns into the end of October pretty fast and into no, the snow flies in October, November. So I don't want to be working on under this thing in the winter. I don't have, it'd be different if you have a garage to work on it all summer, but I just want to get this problem solved. Uh, the reason why I got to take them off is because I got to replace the brakes in the back. So uh, I got to replace the emergency brake and uh, the cable. Uh, the, so the, the pad, the, the, the um, uh, pads for the uh, regular disc brake and then the sh brake shoes for the emergency brake and then the cable. And then my brakes are top notch. Yeah, even on this truck, like just because the truck's ugly doesn't mean uh, it it shouldn't be functional. You know, oh don't if it's ugly, don't put money into it. No, if the truck is functional, you put money into it. Why? Because it's going to make you money. I mean, just save money where you can doing stuff like this. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get this all hopefully settled out. I'm not even going to try to crack the nut, wheel nuts today. They're they're way too seized on there. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, See if I can uh, just put some penetrating oil, smack them around a bit and break them loose, hopefully overnight. And then uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get lucky and uh, be able to take at least one wheel off. <laughs> Progress is always slow. Now, I got that side done. So now, well, I'll see how far I can get on. This side wasn't as bad for some reason. I don't know why. The driver's side is, or the... Uh, Driver's side's usually the the one that takes the most beating because that's where all the salt on the road is. But I guess maybe these tires got rotated and that was probably a driver's side over there. So that's probably what happened. But these ones, they might actually come off. So if they do, uh, you know, I'll take them off and just leave them off and whatever. Again, this vehicle isn't going to move for any anytime soon. Uh, those ones came off recently. Um, but I'm going to, again, keep putting the... The honey goo to them because uh, again it the wheel nut issue is is a strange issue it's like it's one of those things you only have to do it once in a while but whenever you have to do it it's kind of like it's the access to your brakes it's the access to uh your rotor all that stuff and it's just something that if you don't stay on top of it when you got to do it it's like it's just that much more of a nightmare to do so work them properly put good wheel nuts on there every couple of years you should be good you know, it, it, that, that's the way to do it. I'm going to leave that about that. So I'll get the other side done. And then, uh, yeah, there we go.